Well, this week marks 14 months into my gray hair journey. So we're going to do the check-in. So today it's all about month 14. How am I feeling? What am I thinking about? And yes, I will do sort of the 360 so you can see my hair from all angles. And if you are new here and you do not know who I am, my name is Kat and Ditching Diets and Dye is all about my personal journey to stop fighting my body and start trusting it instead. So we're at the 14 month mark. This is my monthly check-in. And as was requested a few months ago, I started doing this every single time I do a monthly check-in. I do a spin. So let's see what my hair looks like 360. All right, that's the full rotation. And I am actually finding from face on today, my hair, because I've kind of got it tucked, it looks a little bit darker than normal. And that still is something that kind of surprises me. When I pull my hair back, it's, it's still quite dark. The top is where most of the gray is and the sides are still still pretty dark. And this this is new hair. Like this is not old dyed hair. That's my actual hair and that's what it looks like. So when I've got it tucked behind, it really does look a lot darker, which is so interesting. But I have noticed, I think with my hair right now, it's more obvious where some of the concentrated parts are. So if I tilt my head forward, I think it's, yeah, it's more on this side. You can see right here, there's this really concentrated part of my hair where it's, that's a lot <laughs> lighter than the rest of it, which I think kind of looks like a cool natural pattern. And, but you can also see that I have the, just like the bright, it almost, the bright, brown. So it actually kind of almost looks like if I had really light hair and I went in and I asked for low lights, but they're not low lights, that's actually my natural hair. So I have found that really interesting to see how my pattern looks at this point in the game. So one of the things that I wanted to share is how I'm feeling right now in at this point. And one of the things is that I'm still really happy with the grombre look. I think it looks really nice and so I'm quite happy with it. The other thing is that I'm still really happy with this cut. I think that the shape of this cut, I'm really pleased with my hairdresser and it has it's grown out really nice. I think it was a good shape when I got it but it's also continuing to hold a really nice shape and I'm happy with it. Now a few months ago I know I mentioned that it was so short that I didn't love it wavy. I have since tried it a couple of times with the wavy hair. I like it much better now that they've got a little bit more length. And so maybe I'll show that in the next video so that you can see how it actually looks wavy because I did say I would, I would show it, I would come back with it. Now, one of the things that's really nice right now is that I don't think about my hair a lot. And I was reflecting on this today that I think that is a true sign that I'm not fighting. And I'm not fighting this journey, not fighting the transition. I'm not regretting it or feeling awkward or like I want it to be done and over with right away. And we'll talk about that in a second. But what really it feels like is freedom. You know, I just, I go about my day, I go on calls, I do presentations, part of my day job, and I'm just not overthinking my hair. Once in a while, if it catches in certain light where it looks really, really light or really, really bright, that can still surprise me because I'm getting used to it, but I don't, I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. All in all, I'm actually enjoying that I'm going through this journey. I like that I'm able to share it with other people, but it does feel like an important part and I don't want to rush it in a strange way. Now, something I'm thinking about is my next haircut. <laughs> and I know I just said that I really am enjoying my haircut right now, but I'm not going to be getting my haircut right away. Typically in this past year, I've been getting a haircut around every four months. And so my last one was two months ago. At the pace that my hair grows, I've got an extra inch. And then in another two months, I'll have another extra inch. So if I've got two extra inches of growth since my last haircut, we're talking probably around the chin area, which is not too dissimilar from what I did last time with the shorter bob which means that technically my next hair appointment could be my last. And that part is a little bit hard to wrap my head around. 
Now I cannot be sure of this. I don't know if it will be my last haircut, but it could be. That might be the cut where the dyed hair is cut off and it's all my original hair, which as you know, I have some brown hair. So I'm still going to have that brown. I've got that salt and pepper, but it's a little strange to think that that could be the end. So I feel really mixed. On the one hand, it's kind of exciting at the idea that the next cut could be technically the last one to finish my transition. But it's also a little, I'm a little apprehensive. It's like, well, I don't know if I want this journey to be done yet. So that's where my head is at right now. I don't know exactly when I will even be able to get a haircut, but I'm hoping that in around two months time, and I'll have a better idea at that point of where the transition actually is and whether or not that cut would do the rest. And of course, I will keep you up to date. A couple of last things before I wrap up this 14 month check-in. One, I would love to say thank you to the people who gave me feedback on hats and especially the Canadian connection because I do live in Canada. So it'd be nice to shop locally within the country. And also some of the feedback from my last video on is dye free more authentic? I really liked hearing your experiences and your thoughts on that. So I always want to say thank you. I appreciate the comments and what you are sharing. It's really a great part of the journey. And it's one of the things that I look forward to with this channel. So that's my 14 months. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm enjoying my hair and I'm thinking about what's happening next with the haircut, but it's going to be some time. That's not happening anytime soon. Overall, I'm just in a really good place with this gray hair journey. And yeah, I just, I'm in a good place. The freedom. That is what I wanted. I wanted to stop the fight and enjoy the freedom. And that is what I'm doing. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.